realistic swabs with a 100% natural blend in one Confui workflow. Lura fixes color tone. Infinity Talk with Vent 2.2 Enemy gives better lip sync. Maybe I... We compare Q4 GGUF model with FP8. It runs on low VRAM and Uni3C can add camera motion. So let's first talk about workflow. I have divided it into sections. So it's very easy to use. In the background masking section, upload what you want to edit. So there is a node named Resolution Master. You can select the best resolution for your video and choose a supported WEN 2.2 resolution. In the Point Editor node, add green points for what you want to include in the mask and red points for what you don't want to include. You can also use layer mask in segments V3 if you want another masking method instead of SEM2 segment. But for this tutorial, we use SEM2 segment nodes. If you want, you can use face motion extracted from a reference video. If you don't like the facial expression of the first video, you can upload another video to change it. I added another load video node and here upload the face reference video in the face image section group. Then in load video connect the image hook to this hook. And if you want to use the face of the first reference video, connect the first nodes hook there and remove the second video hook. In this workflow, I am using an infinity talk model with WEN 2.2 animate for better lip sync. You can enable or unbypass it here if you want to use it. In another section, I am using WEN Video Uni 3C. It's a camera motion control model. It takes motion extracted from a reference video, captures the pan and camera angle and adds it to your result video. It did not work exactly as I wanted, but you can try this test with WEN 2.2 Animate. You have to download the WEN. You have to download the WEN 2.1 Uni3C control net model and save it into your models control net folder. You can unbypass or unbypass section group. By default, I keep it off. In the reference image section, upload the image you want to add or edit in the video. Now, let's talk about the model section. You have to select the WEN 2.2 Animate FP8 model. And if you are low on VRAM, you can try the GGWeb Q4 model. I'm also trying Q4 model in this tutorial and we are comparing it with FP8. And for that, you have to download the model file and save it in your ConfiUI's Diffusion Model folder. In this workflow, I am using LoRa models. First is when animate relightening LoRa. It fixes the color tone to match the target scene. Second, I use LightX 4 step which we use in every workflow. Third, I'll use PUSA V1. It improves motion but uses a little more memory. I'm also using WEN 2.2 HPS LoRa trained on human preference. It gives better quality and makes the result more realistic. And at last, for the text encoder, you have to select the WEN text encoder model which we used in all WEN workflows. So that's all about the workflow. So let's talk about the example. In my first example, I upload an image of Golem. This image already has many objects and another character in the back. But I only want Golem. So I add the remove background node and it removes everything except Golem. In the load video node, 
I upload a video of a lady playing guitar. I want to replace this lady with golem, same as in my image. Her hands are moving hard on the guitar, so masking that area is a good test. And to exclude the guitar, I add red circles on the guitar. I add green circles on the lady where I want the mask. Now you can see the masking is clean and it looks perfect. So I continue to do the next step. The DW node analyzes the face and captures the expressions. So we get the same facial motion in the result. And here I hit run. Now you can see the result. The lady is replaced, golem is added, and the blend looks natural. When golem plays the guitar, it still feels real. So this is the first example. We can do many things in this workflow. First, I check if we get the same quality as FP8. For comparison, I use GGF Q4 model. Make sure quantization is disabled. It takes around 28 seconds to get a result. The quality looks the same as FP8. But I saw a motion issue. So when I checked this video, it had only 37 frames, but the clip is 153 frames. So I had accidentally locked it to 37 frames and I removed the lock and generated it again. And for 153 frames, it split into two parts. Total generation took about one minute for this result. The new result is better. And if you compare with FP8, Q4 gives the same quality as FP8. And if you have low VRAM, try the Q4 model. Now Golem is playing the guitar. The hands are generated correctly and the guitar details look very good. The hand moves up and down and matches the reference video motion. Here in my FP8 test, it didn't capture that move as well. So you can see that even on low VRAM, you can get a result like uh, FP8 using Q4. The motion is fully captured and the hand movements matches the reference. So that is our first example. As I said earlier in the workflow, if you don't like the facial expressions in the first video, you can upload another video to change it. So here I have loaded a new video where the lady moves her head up and down and I switched the hook to this load video node. Now let's see if we can get the same face motion of the golem character. The expression changes but it doesn't capture 100%. Somewhere it goes a little down. So I picked another test video and animate clip of a lady driving a car and chasing someone. For the reference image, I loaded a realistic lady wearing a t-shirt. So here, when I hit run, it follows the up and down motion from the second video, but the result isn't good yet. I didn't change the prompt here. On the next run, it follows the second video's motion 100%. This is how you can change the face expression, load a different driver video and reconnect the hook to use its motion. So now let's take another example. Now turn on the infinity talk section for better lip sync. Here I have uploaded a video of a lady singing and for the reference image, I uploaded a photo of a lady. First, I disable the other model groups, so only the mask is on to check if the mask is correct. When it looks okay, I enable the other groups. And to run it, I select infinity top model. So there is one more point to notice. If you are using the Ven 2.2 anime, GGUF model, you must also select the Infinity Talk GGUF model. Now, let's generate the result. 
and here as you can see maybe i didn't treat you quite as good as i the result is great the reference lady replaces the lady in the video and she sings the song the lip sync is excellent the best part is that you can zoom in and it still looks naturally blended and 100% natural she is wearing a necklace and the clothes and face all match our image so here is the last example enable the unity 3c group upload a video that has the camera angles you want in your result and for this test i use a different video i set the resolution to 720 by 720 the result video looks mostly static i do not see strong camera moves and if you look closely there is a little movement you can compare with another example to notice the difference so please test this on your site and try different camera angle clips if you like this one please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this thank you bye bye